think in December when we were here, there were some issues about uh, financing, refinancing uh, homes around the lake, and uh, we thought maybe uh, we would bring in an expert to kind of address some of those issues. So Linda May with Linda May Realty has agreed to come up and, and kind of walk through that so people can understand what the issues are with that. So Linda? Thanks, Tim. Uh, I don't know how much of an expert I am on this, but I did do some research. I didn't depend on just my my experience, so I did do a lot of research on it. Uh, when Mark called me, he said uh, on Wednesday night, he uh, said and asked me to do this. He said, "Well, you know, I've been drinking, so I don't know if this is going to work or not." But <laughs> I took it seriously after he called back and said, "Tim, okay." To so. Uh, Anyway, um, at our last meeting, there was some talk about financing uh, lake homes. And so I did some research, and uh, I called not only banks, but I called uh, mortgage brokers, I called credit unions. Um, got a lot of good information, uh, some information you might, might not want to hear, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, First, I need to make a disclosure in that I'm not an attorney, I'm not, I'm not a banker, and I'm not a, a CPA or, or an accountant. So these are my thoughts. These are thoughts that came from banks, credit unions, and mortgage brokers. Um, the first slide I want to show is the sales for the area. And I got this from our local MLS. Uh, and they have, a, they have a section that are just lake sales. Uh, as you can see, we're on our way back up. Uh, maybe it's not uh, where we want to be, but it's, uh, it's an improvement over 2010. 2010 was our low point, and that's when we had the allergy. Uh, now, I also wanted to do a disclosure on this. If it's not listed with a realtor, it is not in these numbers because this is your local multiple listing service. So if it's sold by a homeowner or even a foreclosure or sheriff sale, sometimes that's not listed uh, on the MLS. Uh, my next slide just gives you a little idea of the price range that is selling. <clears throat> and uh, it is somewhere between 140 and about $190,000 homes. Uh, the 500,000, the 600,000, the million dollar homes are not selling. Um, but uh, again, you know, that's, that's just, that's not just on the lake, that is nationwide. Your high end homes are not selling. People aren't as uh, willing to put out the cash. Um, and the other thing I wanted to point out on this is that uh, the difference between the active and the actual sales price. Anybody that's had their home on the market knows it takes a long time. You usually have to lower the prices. Um, and you usually don't get what you think you're going to get or that you'd like. Um, my next slide is uh, some information that I got from local bankers, um, mortgage brokers, credit unions. And I called them or emailed them. Here are four uh, quotes uh, that I got permission to use. Some of the banks didn't want me to use uh, a quotation. Uh, first one is from Rod Stover from uh, <coughs> Citizens National Bank. And he's saying, as of now, we do not have any limitations on lake properties. We sell to Freddie Mac. And I, I don't know if everybody understands what Freddie Mac and Fannie, Fannie Mae are, but in order to get a fixed rate loan, the bank has to be able to sell it to Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae, which, which is a government organization. So uh, to get that low fixed rate, you have to be able, the bank has to be able to sell it to uh, Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Um, here's uh, a quote from 
uh, Phil Schum from the Superior Federal Credit Union. I've done two mortgages in December and four in the last 90 days for late properties. Uh, closed three ho lake homes in the past four to five months and, and take into account that this is uh, January, December, and November when usually real estate sales are, are at their lowest. Um, and that comes from Chase Bank here in Salina. My lenders are not concerned about late quality and that comes from Sue Thomas from Performance uh, Mortgage, which is a mortgage broker. Now, there are a few variables in the uh, home loan. One of the biggest one, and this is very subjective, is appraisals. Um, first of all, it's very difficult to get comparables. I've had clients that have tried to refinance and um, the bank is, is pulling comparables that aren't anywhere near what their property is. They've come to me and I've sent them comparables that I've found. Now, that's up to your bank if they will accept those. Um, and it's up to your appraiser. Um, one of the things that I've heard over and over is that on the appraisal, if the appraiser puts down that the home is located on a toxic lake, that's an automatic flag for Fanny and Freddie. They will melt shake this head. They'll, uh, they'll throw it out. So you have to be careful who you get for appraisals, but again, appraisers, you don't have a big choice on who you get to do your appraisals. Um, comparables, again, are very difficult to get because of the number of sales. Uh, it was always, we were always taught that six months back you needed to take uh, comparables. Well, six months back you can't get three or four comparables anymore that are close to what your home is. And the other thing is the the homes are so unique on the lake. They're not your typical plat or subdivision. Um, Every one is different. Down payment, the banks are now wanting 20% on a conventional loan. Now there are other loans out there. There's rural development, which is uh, very popular in this area. But again, that goes by your income, your credit scores, that sort of thing. VA loans, uh, you could get some of these loans with no down payment. Second homes. Uh, a lot of the homes on the lake are second homes. And bankers look at that differently than a home you're going to live in. Uh, so if someone's trying to purchase a second home, the banks will work with you. Uh, I have not gotten any feedback from anybody that I've talked to that they won't work with you. Uh, and again, you know, it depends on the appraisal, on your credit score, and those sort of things. A few things that I've used in my business, and um, in this market you just have to get very creative. If your bank turns you down, I always tell people to go to the bank that they work with. That's probably the best place to start. But there are credit unions, there's mortgage brokers, uh, financial institutions outside this area. I have used Geneva Bank in Geneva, Indiana. For, for Condos on the lake are almost impossible to sell. Uh, but I have used Geneva Lake. Now, they're not going to give you a fixed 3.2 but they will, they will finance it, and it may be variable, but with the interest rates as low as they are, I mean, you know, and it doesn't sound like they're going to go up. You might want to consider a land contract. And land contracts are very dangerous if you don't do your due diligence. You have to do your homework. The first thing you want is to get a large down payment. If you have a weekend home on the lake and you absolutely want to get rid of it and you can't, you buyers can't get financing, um, a, land con a land contract is the way you could go. Um, the first thing you want to do is get a large down payment. You're going to have to get an attorney involved in this uh, because basically what you're doing is you're the mortgager for this, uh, 
for this loan. You amortize it over 30 years, 20 or 30 years, so the payment isn't so high. And then after two or three years, you do a, a balloon payment. After two or three years, they should have enough equity and they should have their credit rating up to the point where they can, can roll it over to a conventional loan. Um, just like a rental, you're going to have to monitor the payments, you're going to have to monitor what they're doing. And I tell people, if you don't have a 10 to 20 percent down payment, that's not a land contract. You're basically leasing the home until they can buy it. Um, the third thing is, if you absolutely want to get out from under this house, there is a huge market for leased homes right now. Um, as you know, our unemployment rate is very low, and we have a hard time getting skilled labor or upper management. So we have these people coming in from the outside, and maybe they have a house somewhere else they have to sell before they can buy. Maybe they're not sure they're going to stay, so they don't want to invest in anything. Maybe they want to rent for a year to decide where they want to live. So, and they don't want to live in a two-bedroom apartment on the third floor with a bunch of kids and dogs and whatever. Um, so, if you have a home and you want some income, my other suggestion is to rent, to lease it out. Um, Again, you know, you have to be very careful, you have to monitor it, you have to uh, take care of it, and they will usually purchase at some later date. So if they're in your home already, after a year they decide they want to purchase, you know, you have a good chance that they will purchase uh, your home. But again, you've got to be creative. It, it's, uh, it's not all... The bank is not the end. I mean, you, there's several other things that you can do. Um, and my last slide is just a quote that I like to use. Um, in this market, we've all got to be creative. We all got to think outside the box and, and do what we could do. It is what it is, you know. Um, my house in 2004 was appraised at 229,000 when I built it. It's now appraised for 179. Am I happy about that? No. And I, I know there's a lot of you that have property around the lake that, you know, the appraisals have gone down. But that's not just the lake. Across the board, across the country, appraisals have gone down. It's just a fact of the market. So um, if we have time, I'll take some questions. If I can't answer them, I'll see if I can find the info for you. Okay, go ahead. Have you seen a faster rate of decline on late home value versus other home value? Oh, in 2010, yes. I mean, you know, the algae bloom did affect us. Uh, you know, I see Chris back there, and she has, I'm sure she agrees with that. Um, it's coming back. Um, now, is it coming back as fast as we want? No. Uh, it, it never does. But um, it's not just the lake that's affecting, affecting your prices. I have investors that buy lake homes to rent out. And they buy them and they, they buy three bedroom, two bath, two car attached garage for this segment of the population that's moving in here. And their theory is we're going to hang on to them, rent them out, and when the, um, the economy uh, and the lake improves, then that's where we'll make our money. So, any other questions? Go ahead, Chris. I was going to mention um, that the FHA, which is what Tom uses, mm -hmm. and some credit unions use that. FHA, which is also a government program, they do not discriminate on the lake as long as the common <coughs> toxic lake is there. And FHA only takes 3% down. I'm pretty loud. <laughs> FHA only takes 3% down, and they will loan on the lake, but you have to have 3% down yeah. in good credit. Yeah, you got it. Lots of times, we don't live in a community where people have good credit after being out of work for so long. Yeah. 
And um, the other part was People's Bank will hold their mortgages for late property at the bank mm -hmm. with a good down payment, a good credit score, and an adjustable rate mortgage, mm -hmm. which is a calculated risk, but you know what we don't see any huge changes in the next three years, but who would have anticipated this? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you did a good job. I thought your information was really good and I wanted to mention I think the price of homes that are selling are up compared to two years ago when houses under a hundred and quarter were selling. Mm -hmm. And now we're looking at houses between one forty and two hundred that are selling. Yes. I think that's a good sign. Yeah. People, stable people are buying those homes. It, I definitely think so too. And uh, you're right about People's Bank. I didn't get a call back from them, uh, but you know, I I only had had about a day to pull this together. So I know People's Bank. Some of the local um, uh, private banks will keep them in a house, uh, but again, you're not going to get the three point five. But, you know, still, when you think of what the interest rate used to be, 4% uh, is pretty good uh, from what we've seen in the past, hi, Jane. This is just a statement. We just refinanced a year ago, and we ended up, we started with Chase and then went through to Peoples. Peoples had to do it in-house because at that time, Freddie Mac wouldn't even touch. Now, when you said on the lake, is that on the water or just near the water? On or around the lake. Okay. Yeah. If it's on the water, they won't touch it. If it was away from the water, they would. But if it was right on the water, they wouldn't touch it. And they had trouble getting comparables, and they ended up going to Indian Lake and to the golf course to get comparables. Yeah. But the comparables, the value of the, lake, of the property was half of what it was five years ago. But our taxes haven't gone down. Yeah. I can't do anything about that. I, I, I feel your pain. I, yeah, I know. But, you know, my house has gone I down talk, a lot. I talked to a board member yesterday at People's Bank, and he said they're still, you know, yeah, you can, they do it in-house. Mm -hmm. And, but you're not going to get the same interest rates. Mm -hmm. It's just like you could get an interest rate refinanced 15 years fixed for 2875, but we have to take a whole percent more, but we haven't gotten it deducted on the other end with their taxes because the value's not there. Yeah, I, I know, I, and I feel your pain because I live on the lake too. Yeah. So when are they going to reappraise? Do you know when they'll reappraise houses again? No, I think they do that every couple of years. Oh, Randy's here. Okay. How often do they do that, Randy? Uh, the next triennial update will be in 2014. Okay. 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 Now, and that was last year that they, they kept it in-house. Everybody that I talked to as of Thursday said, uh, you know, we, we have no restrictions on the lake or around the lake. Uh, well, it happened to be my brother, and he's on the board, and he said they're very careful. Well, and, you know, that's People's Bank. Yeah. Yeah, that's People's Bank. Uh, there's a lot of other banks out there. Yeah. But again, but you're not going to get the cheapest rate. No, no, and that's just a fact of life. I yeah. mean, that's just something we can't, we can't. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry, my arm's really now. Um, FHA, if, if um, and I would warn people about this unless they change drastically. Um, if you're selling FHA, they come in and, and, and if you have a place that is like one of these converted cottages or added on. Um, you could run into a lot of expenses that you would have to update and upgrade before the house is sold. And I'm talking about end of a thousand dollars when I look at my converted place, because we bought a house, FHA, and the, and the seller ended up having to put thousands of dollars into it before the sale would go through. So I think if you're thinking FHA, you need to think about your place. Is it a new construction or is it an older converted or added on to construction? Absolutely. Every situation is different. And my suggestion is to work with your bankers and to work with your, your accountant, your, your uh, attorney. But there are alternatives. Um, are we happy about the higher interest rates? No. But again, even at 4% or 5%, it's still much better than we had years ago. Uh, so, any other comments? Is there 
Is there a market out there for homes over two hundred fifty thousand, or are they just not selling? I don't see them selling. And again, that is not a reflection on the lake as much as it is the price range because the high-end homes are still not selling because people and Chris yeah shake your head or yes or no if you agree or not but it's just a fact of the market people don't feel comfortable enough yet and you do not have the high income that will afford those higher-end homes I've looked at million dollar homes that are listed at 500,000 and they're, they're not selling. So, and, and again, I think a lot of times we think, well, it's because of the lake. But if you talk, if you talk to people out at Eagle Brook, same things out there. The high end homes aren't selling. I mean, uh, it's just a fact of the market. Okay, Mark said one more question. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Thank you.